giving what green door? Okay! It's giving hot, huh? what you see? Come a little closer, let me hear. Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Now's a good time to go ahead and subscribe. As you guys can see from the title, today's video is a little bit different, super special, because I have my best friend Chappelle here. I'm actually going to be using her as a model because she has micro locks and I'm in love with them, okay? So what we're going to be doing is putting on a deep wave slash deep curly unit. She's actually going on vacation, so she wanted to kind of switch up her look a little bit. What I'm doing is starting off with cornrows. So I did have her hair already kind of pre-parted off, um, but I'm starting off with the side and then I realized, eh you probably want to start from the middle Chrissy so when you do these braids the great thing about locks is that you can literally take each individual strand whereas if you're going to be doing twists or cornrows in this case um, you are going to need three strands of hair well the locks make it easier for you so I sectioned off I believe if I'm not mistaken y'all don't quote me of uh, five braids on the left and the right side of her head so uh, we were able to get quite a few braids just to make sure that this braid down was extremely flat as possible she did go ahead and actually start her locks herself okay check her out uh, looking pretty pretty good so she did an amazing job of sectioning off her micro locks so it gave me a great foundation to kind of start with you guys can see the lines are pretty clean and I was extremely happy with it her hair is extremely soft and hydrated you know locks is one of those things where if you are really looking for something to grow your hair keep it hydrated tucked away you don't really have to have too much maintenance to it i definitely think it's a great protective style it's actually something that i've been thinking about doing for quite some time now um i've been saying maybe when i turn 30 i'll lock my hair but she beat me to it so i'm gonna live through her for a little bit <laughs> and just kind of see how i feel um, about it and you guys can see this process was extremely quick and easy it made it so much easier because her hair had already been like fresh or refreshed and so um i didn't have to worry about her roots being overly bulky which definitely helped out a lot um so that's something to keep in mind if you do have locks you're gonna want to make sure that your hair is at least refreshed it doesn't have to be you know super clean right away but you definitely want to make sure that you don't have too much new growth and definitely no build up um what i did go ahead and do you guys can see how clean everything looks i did go through and just apply a little bit of oil serum to her scalp um just to make sure that everything is nice and hydrated doesn't dry out too too much i applied that oil um back to her roots so the kitchen area y'all know how that is um and then also to just the ends or the very tips of her hair and then i sectioned everything off i did about three different braids and then I crisscross them to kind of interlock and create this like rounded shape that way we can go ahead and just pop on our wig cap and literally go so typically I would um, actually sew this down I decided not to just because we know she's going on vacation and more than likely she was not going to wear the wig the entire time and so that's fine right we wanted to make sure that we could at least get the style locked in I'm going to show you the method you don't always have to use a new cap y'all know when you guys see me install wigs I almost never do it just because number one I'm going to take it off as soon as I finish the video <laughs> usually anyway and then on the other hand it's just not needed when you have a really good quality wig like the one I'm about to show you um, it's gonna boil down to the lace the placement and kind of the products and what you do to kind of style this up but you guys are getting a, a quick look at what it looks like to kind of get that ball cap method going I will be sure to link a video down below just in case you need to master the ball cap method and then of course we are gonna go ahead and reinstall one of the curly units here and so of course the lace is already cut off we're gonna go ahead and refresh the curls and get this bad boy laying down so first things first you guys can see i have the wig on we have it nice and fitted to our head um y'all i cannot get a middle part center for the life of me it doesn't matter if i do it or the client do it it's just always off center so i'm assuming i'm in love with off center parts <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm taking some cream of nature argan oil mousse just to smooth all those flyaways back And then of course the ghost bond glue is what we use just to kind of tack everything down Hit it with the blow dryer allow it to turn clear and then go ahead and pull your lace directly over it you guys 
she was super happy with this install and I was too, despite the fact that we are recording this super late at night. <laughs> but you guys, it looks super nice, super natural. Obviously the knots are bleached. Everything uh, concerning the wig will be down in my description box below. So definitely make sure to check that out. If I have any coupon codes for you, I would definitely be sure to leave that as well. Um, and so yeah, I'm just using the back of the comb here, or I guess it's like a brush comb tool situation using that to further like press in any of the lace and you guys can see just how natural everything looks right out of the uh, gate and then i'm taking an elastic band just to really melt everything into the skin and get it really really nice and dry i like to go through with my blow dryer just to go ahead and dry that cream of nature products and then just to really kind of flatten out the curly wigs because y'all know it can kind of get bulky you want to go ahead and just hit it with a flat iron and because this is curly deep wavy hair it was a good idea to go ahead and just re-wet it instead of applying a bunch of mousse and having it look like crunchy noodles so we were not going for that okay um what i did go ahead and do is take one section at a time i did go ahead and wet down one and then once we uh hit it with the hot comb we did the same thing on the other side just to blend the curls out nicely I really feel like the process of putting on a wig is always therapeutic. Whether I'm putting it on myself or doing someone else's, I just feel like it's so crazy to see how you can go from one look to the next. And you guys can see everything was laying beautifully. I did go ahead and kind of set the curls a little bit um, using the one fourth of an inch flat iron just to kind of curl those up a little teeny tiny bit and then i took some of my gotta be glue spray just to kind of hold everything in place i used a little bit of the bio silk just to smooth over the curls get that shine going and you guys can see it <laughs> get into it i hope you guys enjoyed the video i love you guys so much stay pretty i will see you next time bye babies